three days, three weeks, three months, three years. What do you want to accomplish in three days, three weeks, three months, and three years? Do you think about this? Is this a topic that you ever sit down and plan out? If not, you are going through the motions and hoping fate is gonna just intervene. Is that productive? No, it's not. I like to go ahead, takes about 10 or 15 minutes every like three days and reevaluate the things that I want to achieve. And by doing this, I may be expending energy by sitting down and taking the time to create these plans, but I'm actually conserving energy. And that's something I really want to talk about, energy conservation. I've had this conversation a few times with some friends over the course of the week, and I think it's really important to be able to share and make you aware of this. So say your goal is to heat your car. It is freezing outside, not today, but it's cold. Are you going to leave a window open? No. No. You're not going to leave the door open, are you? No, if the goal is to heat your car, you're gonna shut all the windows and crank up the heat. You're gonna focus on keeping all that energy internally and not letting things seep out. So, for you and your goals. Say your goal is to find a girlfriend or get accepted into an educational program. Are you gonna get sidetracked by other little jobs you could pick up here and there? Or are you gonna get sidetracked by that same person you've been talking to for like four years on and off? You probably have, but is that helping you achieve your goal? No, it's wasting your energy that you could be focusing on to get to the main goal. So it's really important to close the windows and shut the doors. Shut doors on energy drains. You don't want to lose focus. And that's what the universe is trying to do. It's trying to distract you. We are in a society where it is so easy to get distracted. But they're tests from the universe and you need to rise above it and gut check. Hey, is this helping me? Nah, not. I've got friendships that I've had for years and I love these people because we have time spent. But are they adding value to my goals? Are they getting me closer and closer? No. And sometimes... Although society says don't burn a bridge, sometimes it's okay to close a door. It'll open back up if you need it to, but close it. Don't focus any energy on something that's not going to help you. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I just mean it in a way where that person you might be talking to on and off for a while, they're draining you. And you could be missing the opportunity that could be right in your face. That's something that you've always wanted because you were distracted by that other energy drain. So I just think this spring, this whole, it snowed three days ago and now it's 80 degrees outside is a really great metaphor for new beginnings. And if you can do that three day, three week, three month, three year gut check every so often, just to align your goals and then see if the things that cross your path throughout the day are helping you get to any of them, it's really gonna help you focus in on what you wanna manifest and you'll get closer to achieving it. Uh, basically, a dream without a plan is just a wish. And we ain't wishing for nothing. We're going to achieve it. So um, close some doors. Don't be afraid to. Don't let your energy seep out. You want to protect it. And when you do that, the things you seek are also seeking you. And I really believe this. I've seen it work. Just remember what your goals are. Sit down, give yourself five minutes every three days to just realign and reassess. And you're going to be re 